Hi there, Johnny here from johnnylipsstudios.co.uk and in today's video we are going to look at the awesome power of the, of the splitter tool in Studio One. And we're using Studio One 4.6, latest release. And uh, this guy is epic. This has been in Studio One since version 3 and uh, it's fantastic. And I don't know how many people uh, know about it or appreciate it. Uh, that much, but it's phenomenally powerful uh, because what you can do with this is you can split your uh, audio from any given channel in the mixer into several different ways. You can um, have up to five splitters on the channel, which means you can split the audio five ways, which is phenomenal. Uh, and then, of course, when you do that, you can apply any kind of uh, processing on either side of any of the splitters and then sum everything into one output channel which goes back into your main output channel here. So the signal flow, uh, just in the case of just having one splitter, is that the signal comes into the splitter and then it's split into two. And in this case I have compressor and distortion on one side and the other side has no processing at all and then the two are summed back into one so they're recombined and then they go through this mix tool plugin to add some gain back in that is lost on this side with the compression and distortion uh, and so that's basically how this works now you can add as i say lots of different splitters so you know i can just put in lots of different splitters. So I've got three splitters there. So now the audio is going into this splitter. It's going, it's being split into two, and then that's being split into two again, and then that is being split into two again. So I can put processing on e on either of these two sides before it's combined back into one where it goes through the compressor and the distortion, and then goes into the mix tool. On this side, it's being split again, and I can put processing, I can put plugins on both sides. Uh, if I want to or on just one side if I want to and just do parallel processing on one side and parallel processing on the other I can do all sorts of crazy things um, If I want to and it's very very powerful It's very very cool and it makes parallel processing and uh, all sorts of creative uh, processing uh, really simple to do and also that you can just do it on one channel so you're not having to create lots of parallel channels uh, in your mixer and do all sorts of effect sends and that kind of thing, which uh, you could do. You could do it all that way if you want to, like in, in this case here, a parallel compression with a bit of parallel distortion. I could just cr uh, create a pre-fader send to um, another bus channel that has the compressor and the distortion on it, and I'm sending a copy from the channel that, that passes through that compressor and, and distortion and then is being summed again at the main output here. I could do that and generally speaking that is what I do. But this is really powerful that you can just do it and keep it all nice and neat and tidy on one channel. I don't have to have any other channels. It's perfect. So let me show you what I have going on here in this, uh, in this particular example. So I have the compressor uh, and as you can see here, I am doing some very heavy compression. I'm compressing about 17 dB with a fast attack and a slow release and um, a high ratio and a low threshold. Uh, so I've got that going on. And then I also have the uh, red light distortion, which I can just bring, bring up the GUI for. And as you can see here, I am uh, driving a lot and I'm rolling off some low ends. So basically the distortion is not affecting the kick drum because this is a drum loop and I don't like distorted kick drums in particular. Um, and so that's how that works. And then if I want to just access my splitter again, I just, I just hit this little routing button here. Now, how do I access the splitter tool if I'm going from scratch? If you're going from scratch, um, as you can see, all the plugins are in, uh, in the insert bay of my drum loop channel here. And if I want to access the routing page, the channel, ed I click this channel editor button here, and this opens up here. And all you, you've got all these uh, knobs and uh, buttons here that you can map if you so wish. But if you want to access that splitter, you need to hit this little button here, and that opens up 
uh, this page here and then you just grab the the hand here and you just drag it uh, down into the into this empty space when it when you're doing it from scratch you have this in empty space here um, but as you can see I've, I've applied these things already and this is what it sounds like and the cool thing here is you can mute or combine the different channels you can uh, the different sides here I can set the levels differently uh, so let's just play this uh, with the parallel processing switched off. So fairly standard funky little drum loop there. Um, and with the parallel processing in place, this is what we have. So there's a bit more distortion there that uh, just gi gives the drum sound a, a, a lot more grit. And then with the parallel compression as well, um, it brings the drums a little bit more forward and gives them um, a bit more of a sense of excitement about them, uh, which is very cool. So uh, the signal is being split into two. Half of the signal is going through the compressor and the distortion in parallel. The other side isn't being processed at all and then they're being recombined and then they go through the mix tool to, to re-add the game back in uh, at the end of the chain. But I could split it again and do some other processing if I want to. But this is basically how you do a basic parallel compression setup using the splitter tool. It's very cool. It's very powerful. Give it a try. Try different things. Try reverbs and delays and um, different things, different uh, routings. So go have fun with it. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.